again, disappointing result, but plenty of plenty of positives in the performance and, and also first goal very very questionable. So many positives, so many positives, John. It's um, you know there was a, probably a lot of questions thrown at the, at the group after the other night, and um, you know speaking to their manager very quickly afterwards, he, he, you know he congratulated our mentality because they expected us to be to be down. Um, feeling sorry for ourselves, and and we were far from it. I thought the the lads that came in, you know, fresh legs, go and stand up to it, and go and uh, go and show what you can do. And and you know, the, to a man, I thought they were uh, they were excellent in in the way they went about the the work, out of possession. You know, shape was good, difficult to break us down, and then um, you know some good chances on on the break on the counter, uh, where we you know we we, we perhaps. Could have done a little bit better, but um, I, I saw many things tonight that, that, that makes me come away here with a uh, with a, a, a lot of positives. Absolutely, and one of those one of those positives, and a glaring positive for everybody was Ali McCann's performance on his debut. Yeah, uh, I had no hesitation in, in, in giving him a, his first start. I thought he was he was very good when he came in last last month. Um, you know, gave him gave him that, that opportunity to see what it was all about, and then tonight. Well, when I spoke to him yesterday, he was, um, I thought that he's so measured um, in the way he goes about his work. He, he puts in a lot of hard yards and prepared to, to go the extra, the extra yardage as well. I thought his use of the ball was, was simple but good. And, and, you know, for someone like that to go and deal with his debut the way he did gives us, um, gives us a lot of heart. Seems like an old head on young shoulders as well. Just we just interviewed him there. It, it, yeah. Has he impressed you as a person? As well? He's a qu he's a quiet lad, very unassuming, very humble. Um, again, you, you don't know he's about at times, but um, he's just feeling his way into the group. And, and and for me, you know, what what better way to to go and do that by showing your actions? And 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 he's he's gained a lot of respect from the the rest of the players as well. So uh, no, really pleased with him tonight. David on the bench and Johnny Evans on the bench. Obviously, you've handed Stuart Dallas the armband tonight. Yeah. I've just spoken to him. Yeah. He's immensely proud. An easy, easy decision for you. And quite rightly, yeah, quite rightly, he should be proud because he's um, say the performances that he goes in and, and puts in. The other night was his 50th uh, cap, and and you know the way he he, he epitomised that what what the group means. You know, he he took a, a heavy blow on his arm. Uh, you wouldn't have known he took that blow. He's still in pain from it, by the way. Um, he won't say that to you. But um, no, he fully deserved being being captain tonight, and uh, I'm just disappointed that um, you know we, we we couldn't get some sort of result for him. Um, I'm so disappointed with the with the officials. The first goal, I've seen it again. Uh, he's, he's offside for the first phase. The ball come in the box, and then he's the one that puts the ball in there. He's, set, he's he's offside again with his shoulder in his arm for the second phase. So how how the officials can get that wrong? It um, and and it changes the course of the game. We're one nil up. Good foothold in the game, ten minutes to go, and um, and, and and you know that's that shouldn't happen at this level. Um, just at a time when people are talking about um, building youngsters, Daniel Ballard is a defender's defender. I thought he was excellent tonight. What did you make of him? Yeah, he's a, another one that you say uh, uh, old head on young shoulders, and and he's uh, he's dealt with, you know, stepping up, coming into the team, and and you know last month. Couple of games where you know it, it, he could have been uh, startled, and and you know, uh, particularly the, the Norway game at home. But again, his mentality is so measured. Um, lads love him, the way he goes about his work. He's the same on the training pitch as he is when he when he plays. Does it the right way, and a credit to to him, Arsenal Football Club, and and, and his family. He's uh, he's someone I've enjoyed working with with the 21s, and has have no hesitation bringing into the group. Romania next Ian in Belfast and. Is there a sense among the group that something's really going to click one of these games? I hope it does for for the sake of, of them, and we, and we want to, you know, we want to leave the uh, this, uh, this 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 autumn schedule with 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 a positive, and and you know, if we can beat Romania, we you know still give ourselves a chance of maybe uh, staying in this staying in this group, staying at this level, and and and, and the group deserves it, you know, to. to I think for the work that they've put in, and um, you know, it'll, uh, it'll you know, we have to make sure that we're right, you know, going into it again, recover, travel back, and 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 make sure we do it do it right and properly going into the Romania game.